What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. I read an interesting article. I figured I'd share it with you guys. It was pretty funny to me. Anyway, Floyd Mayweather recently spoke about a potential matchup with Pacquiao. He said he would entertain the idea under one condition. He said that Pacquiao would have to leave his current promoter, which is top rank, and sign a contract with Mayweather Promotions. He said the only way he's getting the fight with me is if he signs with Mayweather Promotions. He's got to give me the fights with Mayweather Promotions. If he don't give me no fights under Mayweather Promotions, then he's not getting that fight. That's how it's working now the, because the ball is in my court. The ball has been in my court. I have been the A-side. <laughs> uh, this is hilarious that, he's, um, that Mayweather said that, namely because Pacquiao waited so long and it looks like the train has now left. Now Mayweather's just in a position where he's continuing to win. Um, the Pacquiao fight is no longer as lucrative as it was in 2009 or whatever when negotiations were first discussed and Pacquiao didn't want to do drug testing. And he's right. The ball is in his court. Mayweather continues to win. Um, he has a tough test against Canelo. If he gets past him, then, I mean, the possibilities are still endless for Mayweather. Still nobody who has beat him. Meanwhile, Pacquiao is off back-to-back -back losses and he hasn't looked good um, in general. Timothy Bradley, whether you thought he won or lost, he still didn't look great in that fight. Shane Mosley, he didn't look great. Um, I agree, part of the reason Pacquiao didn't look spectacular is Mosley looked very timid um, after he got knocked down and he wasn't really game or trying to make the fight. He said he had some kind of injury. But either way, Pacquiao didn't press and make the fight, cut off the ring and, and stop Mosley or anything of that nature. Um, so realistically, Pacquiao has been the one who looks like he's on the downside of his career. He's no longer looking like the Pacquiao that um, fought Eric Morales or Diaz or the early Marquez fights. Um, he looks like he's becoming a fading star. So Mayweather is right. The ball is in his court because Mayweather continues to win. And in the sport of boxing, it's all about what have you done for me lately. It's just funny that Pacquiao had the opportunity to make this astronomical fight that could have done crazy numbers and the initial level of uh, disagreement was the drug testing and now Pacquiao's made comments like he wants to fight and he'll do anything for the fight basically and that's what he's basically saying because he knows he's not in a position of power because he's not currently winning um, and he hasn't looked good um, per se in his last couple of fights. So it's just funny. It's kind of like the girl that you, you toyed with her feelings. Uh, you play with her. She really liked you and you had the opportunity to smash. And again, you play with her feelings. You chose to do other things and not really show her any love, but you kind of wanted to keep her on the team. And then she gets tired of it. And then all of a sudden she just goes on and fucks somebody else. And you've missed the ship has sailed and you've missed your opportunity with that girl and I think that's kind of um, where Pacquiao is at. Uh, he toyed with the idea he was in a position of power he was able to he was in a position of power because he was winning I don't say he had more leverage than Mayweather but he had a good amount because his superstar was uh, very high he hadn't been knocked out he hadn't lost to Timothy Bradley way back in 2009 he was still on a destructive win streak and he had more leverage more momentum now, it's like he, he's, he's, he's one of the people that stayed at the casino too long where they were up, they were $4,000 up, and then they kept putting the money back into the machines, back into the machines, back into the machines, where Mayweather used his chips sparingly and was able to hold on to, to his money in the casino. Pacquiao depleted his funds, and now he's, 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 he's down to his last 50 bucks, and he's still trying to hit um, that jackpot. And those are just some analogies to let you know where Pacquiao sits. And Pacquiao still has a tough test against Brandon Rios. Brandon Rios is not a laydown person. Very one-dimensional and stationary, but I don't think Brandon Rios is in a rush to have his career ended or have his orbital bone broke or get embarrassed on his first pay-per-view headlining event. So I really think Brandon Rios is going to train hard and bring it. And if he can find a chink in Pacquiao's armor or if Pacquiao's chin is not what it once was after being knocked out brutally, if he's not fully recovered, if he's a hair slower, 
then Brandon Rios definitely can pose problems for Manny Pacquiao. If you look at it stylistically, just paper and resume, I mean, obviously Pacquiao should be the favorite based on his speed and power. Um, and the fact that he fought a similar style fighter in Margarito, um, but it's not really the same equation. It may look the same, Brandon Rio style, Margarito style, but very different variables. Uh, Margarito was over 30. Margarito was like, I think one fight removed from getting destroyed from Shane Mosley. Shane Mosley knocked Margarito out and then Pacquiao fought him after that. Um, again, Margarito's older had been through more wars, wars with Paul Williams and other fighters. So different ball game, different fighters, different eras, different time. Um, as you can see, Margarito no longer fights. And, well, that's partly thanks to Pacquiao. But Margarito no longer fights, and Brandon Rios still looks like he has more fights left in him. Let me know what you guys think of Mayweather's comments that he will only face Pacquiao if Pacquiao leaves top rank and signs to Mayweather promotions. I think he's just toying with Pacquiao now, um, kind of playing cat and mouse. Like I said, it sounds like the ship has sailed. I don't really give a shit. I've, I've been on this um, hype for a while where I don't really care if Pacquiao versus Mayweather happens um, at this point. And I was really on board with the fight, really wanted to see the fight. I had my own predictions and thoughts of what the outcome would be. But there's too many great fights being made for me to worry about a fight that wasn't made in 2009 and a fight that's still in between um, the promotional company Cold War, Golden Boy, and Top Rank. Like I said, too many great fights being made. Danny Garcia, Lucas Matisse, David Hay, and Tyson Fury. Um, Juan Manuel Marquez and uh, Timothy Bradley. Just too many great fights for me to be concerned with this particular fight that is not necessarily likely to happen. Um, so, the comments are funny to me. Let me know what you guys think. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off.